Those heels were a deadly weapon. They were very sexy, and uh, I think it was really, really uh, chic and elegant. Giorgio Armani calls his latest collection the new chic, and it does in fact represent a shift in sensibility on his part towards a more traditional concept of glamour. It's like uh, to see a Fellini or a Godard movie. Which means he has a very distinct signature. Absolutely, yes. I think his strength was really the, to build the identity. As somebody who's done that for a long, long time, mm -hmm. he's in an interesting situation. If he tries to do something people don't know him for, he gets slaughtered. And then when he goes back to doing what he does, people say, oh, it's boring. You know, if somebody keeps to what they're really good at, fashion comes and goes, and it comes and catches up with you, doesn't it? And I think, you know, it's integrity. And I think that's what he has. It is so well respected that it represents something for Milano. And in a season where tailoring is quite a strong trend, a man who is associated with tailoring would presumably be having a good moment. You know, he never left his market. He's always kept very himself. And you know, the jacket and the coat, uh, even more soft somehow. There was um, more like a grown-up woman. I really liked the uh, velvet uh, cape and the skirt. It was really, I think it was very glamour. Did he surprise you today? Yes, for the color. He's known for his uh, beige and grey, and today was very strong, this black and orange and pink. Giorgio made a, a story, and uh, is still going on in the same story. It means that he has a, a specific place. It's like um, classic, contemporary uh, quality, but in the same time, it's really thinking about women.